Right then, YouTube video time. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new and you have no idea who I am, my name's Nathan. I run this channel called Cause We Can. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video, something I've not done before. So I got a mate of mine to basically put together some photos or videos. I'm really not sure. Uh, this is the first time that I'm seeing these pictures or videos and I wanted them to do it specifically on vans. That's what we do on this channel at the minute. We're predominantly vans. Um, I've got a van myself, in case you didn't know, it's a Mark 7 Ford Transit Sport. And I wanted to basically see what stuff and type of vans um, were out there, what people were doing with their vans, you know, some crazy stuff, some really nice stuff. Um, so hopefully that is what my mate has put together, um, hopefully, I say. So you're going to get my first reactions. I've not seen any of these pictures, any of these videos or whatever it is that he's compiled. I'm going to look at them right now. We're going to look at them together and I'm going to react to them. I'm going to give you exactly my thoughts on this. I'm not here to offend anybody if this is your van. I'm not here to blow smoke up your ass either. I'm just here for a bit of entertainment. Hopefully to make you laugh a little bit and pretty much because I like vans. Let's do this. Wow, okay. That is that, That's nice. I, I like that. Transit Connect. You can't go wrong with a Transit Connect. If you haven't seen already, I've done previous videos on my channel with a Transit Connect that I bought for £700 where it was lowered. We did modifications to it. This one looks far better than the one I did. It's got some nice... Um, alloy wheels on there it looks like the rears have some proper stretch on those tires it looks like it could be static or on air i'm not sure it's low it's really low really really nice work really nice the little bug deflector on the front i'm liking it i'm liking it a lot thumbs up so big thumbs up for this really really love it to be honest with you i love these trials of connect i would have another one in a heartbeat Second picture, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is different, <laughs> to say the least. It looks like the ultimate off-road van you can get, pretty much. Somebody has put a lot of time into building this, and it looks mint, to be honest. I love that military green uh, paint, or, you know, it literally looks like he's just got his roller out, a and q and he just rolled the paint on, <laughs> but it, it has, like, this really good effect. With tyres and suspension like that, the last thing you're worrying about, the first guy was worrying about speed bumps, and he's trying to connect, you're not worrying about anything in this van, you're not worried about going over anything, Everest looks like a breeze in this van, it's obviously got some sort of, like, lift kit on it, um, with these huge wheels and tyres on, you know what, as much as I love the lowered vans and stuff like that, this this kind of thing, this side of like modifying vans though is cool as well, having them like jacked up, massive tyres on, massive wheels, yeah, this is a bit of me this, this is a van that has no limits, and the amount of road presence that this thing's going to have is ridiculous, this is the ultimate camping tool, you want a camper, this is what you this is what you're taking. You don't need no camping pitch or camping site. You just rock up wherever you feel like, in any country you feel like, and you just stop and that's you set. If the world was gonna end and there was a zombie apocalypse, this is the van you want, isn't it? This is the van that you want to save your bacon. Speechless really. Class. Absolutely class. I love this. Massive thumbs up to the owner. You've just hit it on the head with the looks and everything. Really good. Good choice of photos so far. Hey, hey! Now, I follow this guy on Instagram. I think he's actually painted this van now, as far as I can remember. I think it's like a creamy colour. And I've followed this van for a long, long time. It's sick absolutely sick i mean just look at it like where do you even start where where do you start with this look at the arches on the bloody thing they're huge it looks so mean so aggressive just that matte effect again it's like that military isn't it it's like that military effect looks sick it just looks so aggressive so mean with them like bolt on type arches on it 
the big wheels. Oh man, it's just unbelievable. If I was going to have a van to blast about in and embarrass a few people on the roads, you know, overtake them in a van, this is the van. This is the one you're having. The amount of work and custom work that has probably went into this van. The owner of this van should be very, very proud. What a machine that they've created here. Unbelievable to look at. I hope it drives as well as it looks. How can people say vans aren't cool? Like, I just... Let's move on though, otherwise I'll be sitting staring at this for the rest of the day. Surely, the next one, it can't be better. Can it? You cannot keep topping these pictures every time. Whoa, okay. <laughs> right, so, again, another Transit Connect <laughs> with no back on it. So, it's a pickup by the looks of it. <sighs> the pickup Transit Connect, it either works well or it doesn't. It looks like the back door's actually open as the wood, like that. That's what I was trying to do, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at myself on the camera. Rather than like a tailgate, do you know what I mean? Like a tailgate would drop down. I like on this how he's kept the arches different because that's something that I would do. I wouldn't paint the arches the same colour as the van. I like the contrast. That's what I like about these connects. I like that, having that contrast between the plastics and the actual paintwork itself. Contradicting myself a bit there because on my van, it's all colour coordinated. But I prefer that. Loving the colour. Love this like baby blue or whatever it is. Just sick. Looks class. It's going to stand out wherever you go. Really, really enjoying that. He's got the ST plate on there as well. So I'm wondering whether this is actually... Maybe he's got an ST170 engine in it. Like I say, with these pickups, sometimes they look rubbish. Like sometimes they're just... They're, they're done and they just don't look right. I'm liking this one though. It looks good. I'm enjoying it. Nope, we'll never know. There isn't any pictures of the uh, of the engine bay of this van, so we'll not know whether it's got an ST one hundred and seventy engine in it or not. If anyone knows, anyone knows the van, let us know. Leave a comment down below. Hey, <laughs> all right, this is this is cool. This is cool. So I mean, this gives us like this super van vibes. I don't know if you've ever seen that like super van. It was like the white modified van that was around. It's been to all the shows. I remember seeing it at all the Sport International. I mean, look at that air duct on the side of it. I mean, you could fit your bloody, you could fit your whole body through that. It looks like it belongs on the drag strip. That front splitter. I mean, this thing does not go on the road. There's no number plate on it. I'm pretty sure this is a track car or a drag vehicle or something like that. It's got a tone eye on the front. And the fact that it's just liveried up as Royal Mail. I mean, come on. This is the fastest postal van in the world. It's got no mirrors either. So again, I'm assuming that's for aerodynamics. It The more I think about this, this must be some sort of drag drag vehicle. It's got to be. It looks like something Guy Martin would use to try and attempt some silly world record in. Can you imagine actually owning that? Being able to put it on the road and just take it at the shop. It would be like driving down the road in a Bugatti. Like you'd get the same amount of attention in that van. Next up, what? Is that fire? Flames? Where? Where's them flames coming from? Has it got like exhausts coming out the bonnet or something? Jesus! I mean, first of all, I seen the lights and I thought, oh, there's a load of lights on there. And then I seen flames. What the? It looks like it's some sort of like chimneys on the, on the side of the van, on the bonnet. I mean, I dread to think what kind of engine it's got in it if it's shooting flames like that. Hopefully it's supposed to do that. I'm loving the lights on it, mind. The lights on the front, like the halo rings, um, the little strips along the grill, along the bottom. The side lights along the bottom, the orange ones, really cool. I'm loving them. It's got air horns on the top. Mega. I mean... They are for trucks, you know, remember the old boo boo. The wheels on it. Wow. Just wow. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look at the wheels. The body kit, like the archers on it, the lights, the flames, the dude driving it. I mean, he doesn't look too worried. If I had seen fire coming out of my van like that, I'd be away. I'd be gone. I mean, this is a show van and a half, this. Like, this is a proper show van. Whether you like it or not, there's been a lot of work put into this van. It looks sick. It's definitely going to attract attention no matter where it goes. I'm just glad that that guy driving doesn't look worried. 
if I'm honest, because them flames are rather big coming out of the, the engine. I wouldn't like to stand close to it though, otherwise you'll end up with me, like me, with no hair, possibly no eyebrows, and maybe he's a better suntan than you'd have hoped for. Do not stand next to this van if you wear a lot of hair products. There needs to be some sort of sign on the side of there, just warning people that the hair might catch on fire when he turns it on. Just saying my opinion. Craziness. Craziness. These are getting crazier now. Okay, this is a very, very strange paint job. I've not seen anything like that before. It looks like a uh, orange lizard. When I look at this van, I'm thinking orange lizard. There's an orange lizard on my screen. Obviously, it's not a lizard. It's a Mark 8 Transit Custom. I'm thinking that that's some sort of wrap. Do you know what, though? The more I look at it, I'm, I'm noticing that it's very, very colour coordinated. The wheels are orange. It's got an orange paint job. I'm liking the gloss black everywhere. Very, very out there. I mean, it's not going to be to everyone's taste. But again, if this is a marketing tool, like you've hit the nail on the head, because this thing is going to get looks. It's going to turn heads. You drive down the road, this thing is going to get as much looks as any supercar will get. And they are very, very similar wheels, if not the same to what my dad's got on his van. So good taste for that. Thumbs up, because I like them wheels. It's giving us a headache, just looking at it. Would I drive that? Yeah, I probably would, just for the sheer craziness of it. He needs his name plastered on the side of that. You could charge people to put their names on the side of that, because you just know that people are going to look at that when it drives down the road. It's just a driving advertisement. That's what that is right there. Very, very clever. I thought this would happen. I thought this would happen. I just had a feeling that there was going to be an ice cream van in here somewhere. I mean, what, what to say about this? What do you say about ice cream vans? I mean, what I will say is the bloody charge extortionate prices these days. What happened to a 99 being 99 pence? It's a nice hot day like it is today. You need something cool to get rid of the, the heat out of your body to just cool you down, bring you back down to a nice relaxing level. So you go to the ice cream van. All right, mate, I'll have a 99, please. No problem. Do you want sprinkles on it? Why, yeah, of course I do. That'll be £4.72, please. Eh? Hang on a second. What happened to the 99 and where's me bloody flake? It's that summer vibes. When the ice cream man starts coming round, you know it's getting to that time of year. If your ice cream man comes around too often, or when it's not even sunny, Question it. There's something going on there. Something going on. All right. Now, I'm wondering whether or not I have this guy on Instagram. Because I'm looking at this van and I'm thinking, I know this. VTech van. Is this the van? Is this the van? Yes, it is the van. It is the van. I do follow this van on Instagram. It's got a K20A2 Civic Type R mid-engined rear wheel drive 210.4, make sure you remember that, 210.4 brake horsepower VTEC van. Insane. Insane. There's no other words to describe this van. It's nuts. I bet you it's absolutely mental. I love these old minis. I absolutely love them. And to have a mini van, you're cool to start with. To have a mini van with a Honda Civic Type R engine in, that's 210.4 brake horsepower. Your cool points are just going through the roof, my friend. Wow. Look at the, look at the back of that. Look at the engine. My word. Like, let's, let's all just take a second here, right? This deserves a small round of applause. It does. Insane. Insane. I, I don't know what else to say about this van. Literally speechless. Incredible. Whoever has built this. Wow. Wow. Right. I've calmed down from the previous van. Let's go on to the next one. I'm, I'm in shock. I, I'm, I don't know whether to smile or cry. It's hurting my eyes. It's hurting my eyes. But prepare yourselves. It looks like a crab, is my first impressions. It's got like big pincers at the front. Like, oh, this is a lot of take in, this one. I mean, what, what kind of van is it? Do, does anybody know what kind of van this is? Right, I'm going to have to just try and 
from a different angle, let's look at a different angle. Wow, I, f I thought it was going to be better from a different angle. I mean, look at the size of that thing on the roof. I don't even want to call it a spoiler. What even is it? There's a spoiler there, look. I can see your actual spoiler. But it's not on the top of the van where it should be. It's at the back, behind the back doors. Welcome to a world without rules. Clearly, there was no rules when they were building this. They just went, how much do you want to be out there? Do you know what I mean? How much do you want me to go? How far do you want me to take this? And he turned around and he looked at them and he just went, yes. I'm looking at this third picture. Look at the other vans in the background. There's more. I mean, look at that one. Looks like he's got his bed on the front of the van. Like, how would you even get that van there? Because you can't drive it, surely. Nice hill in the background. I can't say I like it. I can't say I hate it. I mean, if you're building something like this, you have to just have no care in the world what anybody else thinks. What a way to finish, man. What a way to finish this video. Class. I must say, credit to me pal Jamie for putting these pictures together. I don't know how you found them. You've absolutely smashed it. I mean, some insane insane vans and i mean look at the style differences look at the taste difference between everyone and this is what it's all about this is what modifying vehicles whether it's a van a car a truck i don't care a boat a bloody spaceship a hovercraft whatever it is that you've got you modify it to the way that you want the way you want to do it your style and just don't care what anyone else thinks i love it i absolutely love seeing just the incredible things that people can build and the crazy crazy out there styles that some people have it's absolutely amazing i hope everybody has enjoyed this video i mean i've enjoyed looking at these pictures and just reacting to them we might have to do another video like this if this one goes down well maybe can i can review some of your vehicles maybe we can do some cars maybe we can do some youtubers vehicles whatever it might be i really enjoyed doing this credit to all the owners of the vehicles the photographers all credit goes to them. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm absolutely sweltering hot. Yeah, get this hoodie off us. Get it, get it off. Get it off.